choice, my boy. I'm gonna give you all the space. I want you to win this show, and I want you on Team Chance, man. How do you say no to that? Yeah, you seem you like a, you seem like a veteran a already. A man. What, what, what was I say? it like to enter in? I mean, because you seemed like you didn't have any learning curve oh, it there. Was great. No, it was it was cool. I feel like uh, the other coaches were so welcoming that it just like made me feel like I had space to cheat and become the only option. That was a great pitch, right? Like, that was a great pitch. I, that's how I've That's, that's never I been done before. Well, people, that's new. People ask me all the time, what makes a good coach on The Voice? I've said this a million times. I'm like, great people make great coaches. Oh, and for oh, people who don't coach. know Chance, as you get to know him as a man, uh, he's such a great human being, and it just translates tonight when you see it on The Voice. He's a great coach. You're a great dude. That's oh, true. It's true, guys, It's so cool. Well, what's it like mentoring these young people? And what, like, what is your pitch? Because you always say, like, I'm not a vocalist. You can sing. Yeah. You can sing. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Yep. I mean, what, but oh, what man. do you feel like is that you're bringing to the, to the show and to the contestants? Uh, my main goal in being on the show is trying to help the other artists bring themselves out of mm. their performances. Mm. Like, I want to give people the opportunity to show their identity, to tell their story through song and stuff. I mean, it's not so much about, like, turning them into an artist, but just giving them the platform to, like, be themselves, sing the songs that they grew up listening to, like, really just present themselves fully, and, like, America will love them. Like, all the people on my team are great. Artists and great people. You give great advice on the show. I wondered if you have received any advice that's, that stays with you today. Any advice that stays with me? Yeah, for sure. Actually, uh, shout out to, to Nico Segal, one of my favorite collaborators, horn player and producer. Uh, he always said since we were kids, uh, you never want to be a better musician than you are a person. Mm. See? That's I mean, what I'm talking right there. About. I just got a little chill when you said that. Speaking of chills, I heard something <laughs> about the climate control on the on the chairs, and this was even Ooh, Carson, I who never gets to sit those in those red chairs. chairs tell, them. tell us about the secret of the chairs. Um, I'm I'm the leak. I'm the one yeah. that, that, <laughs> that dropped the info. Yeah, uh, basically, our chairs with the the famous red spinning chairs on the show. Uh, a lot of people don't know this. There is a, a heating setting underneath it to 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 get yourself warm okay. and a cool setting too. Stop. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's because is... of Blake Shelton. He's so old now. He needs temperature control. <laughs> Thank so if you, have, like, Blake. a sweaty situation, yes. you just... I mean, that's a luxury. Yeah. Yeah. So now you know, America. <laughs> yeah. We have heated seats on yeah. the voice. Um, what about new music, man? Tell yeah. me about it. Tell me about that. Because the new record that's coming out next year, you know, you've got, like, a, you've got visuals attached to every song. Yeah. The Starline Gallery has been uh, well underway. I started it off when I first traveled to Ghana last year and I met with some of the like top contemporary artists, painters, sculptors, all types of different uh, visual artists in the world and kind of started creating connections like overseas with artists in Jamaica and artists on, on the continent. And we basically come together and create new pieces. There goes my video right there. That's Child of God. That's uh, a beautiful piece that opened up at the Museum of Contemporary Arts. It's so cool uh, because it feels like the creativity is going in both ways yeah. like the art to the music and the music to the art yeah i think typically like a, as like recording artists we like make a bunch of songs like 12 to 16 songs and we find one artist to collaborate with to make a piece that represents the whole album yeah. and with this it like gives me a better opportunity to like give each song their own identity mm. but also be inspired by the artist like from the inception of the idea speaking of jamaica i heard you might be there soon for your big 30th birthday is that yeah, true yeah actually i am are you yeah. gonna throw down there out there yeah i'm gonna i'm spending who's going the family a friends. lot of people i keep trying to invite steph uh, Cause it is my Steph my Curry. Curry. Yeah, yeah, it's my thirtieth birthday, right. so well, I'm here, to get well, he's number thirty for yeah. the Warriors. No, yeah, I, okay. I really want him to be there. But yeah, uh, Jamaica Carnival is actually on my birthday this year, so that's where I plan on being. So I'll meet y'all. Carnival's Carnival. during your birthday. It's on April sixteenth. That's gonna be yeah. fun. You, I think you put it on Instagram. Something cute happened on your flight with LA. You were with your little daughter and a oh, very yeah. nice gentleman. <laughs> Before you could even ask. Yeah. Did you offered to trade seats. your seat so you yeah. could sit next to your daughter. What happened? So basically, I, I get on a plane. I spent like a month and a half in L.A. with you guys doing The Voice. And my oldest daughter, Kinsley, came out to visit me right before I left. And, you know, we packed up all our stuff, got to the airport, and I got on the plane and realized that our seats weren't next to each other. Mm -hmm. And so while I'm trying to, like, figure out if I want to inconvenience anybody by asking them, this nice, this really nice older dude gets up and he's like, she can have my seat right here. And then I looked him in his face and I'm like... Are you Martin Short? But I didn't say it. I just kind of whispered. I'm like, Are you Martin Short? And he, he just like, oh, closed his eyes, nodded, and it was so cool. It was Martin Short. Oh. That is so cool. Oh, yeah, right. The, and your daughter knows who he is too, from uh, from the Santa Claus Santa Three. Claus. Yes. Yeah. The greatest Santa Claus 
movie yeah. in the franchise. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Shout it is out now. to Jack Frost. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. Shout Look at short. him. Yeah, no, he's a, he's a great dude. That's a cool story. And he didn't know who I was either. That was the coolest part. Oh. It was yeah. just like, I That's know cool. that this is a kid. Being that a, big, by a good kid. human. Yeah. Love when that happens. Chance the Rapper, good human, good musician. A guest. Good coach <laughs> is what we're hearing. Yeah, Great. man. Watch Got tonight. It. The yeah. Boys, yeah, premieres tonight. Let's I go. know. It's going to be, my, uh, actually, reminder, season premiere. It's tonight, 8, 7 Central, right here on NBC. Chance, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.